Hey Aries, welcome guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Thank you for tuning in today. So I was going to use these Wisdom Oracle cards today. I felt drawn to use them. So we'll see what messages a uh, spirit in the universe has for you guys today. And I feel like they're already starting to jump around my hand. I feel like I didn't even need to grab any more. These top ones did not want to stay put. So we do have a leg up. So there might be uh, somebody in your life who's going to be giving you a leg up. Or you might be giving somebody else a leg up in your life. I also have time for a nap. So maybe somebody needs a break from whatever's going on in their life. And this is something that can be offered. Let's see, I have poised as well. Poised represents being ready for action, being ready for an opportunity to come your way. And happy, happy, so definitely beautiful, moving in a good way. I have all that glitters as well. I feel like it's speaking to something beautiful coming this person's way, something that maybe they're working towards. But I feel like this leg up is really gonna help them to get there. I have the King of Wands. The King of Wands represents passion, ambition, and drive. I feel like it's something somebody's been working towards for a long time. This all that glitters. Um, but definitely working hard and need to take time out for themselves. I have the Five of Swords, which represents selfish or short one victories. Victories at the cost of others. I feel like it's speaking to the opposite in this read. I feel like this person is not selfish. I feel like they're very unselfish. I feel like they're more selfless. Um, and not taking care of themselves. Um, and instead working hard to try and attain whatever this goal is. And that's why they need to take this time to care for themselves. I also have the strength card. I feel a lot of inner strength coming from this read. Whoever this read is for, this is a very, very strong person. I also have the six of swords, which represents moving from stormier times to calmer ones. And in your life, I feel like it's speaking to this hard work paying off. Um, but this person, this person needs to take time out for themselves. I feel like they put themselves last um, and just put work first and they definitely need time. And, and it might be, if you're the one who's going to offer the leg up, um, help them in some way to look after themselves. You might have to force the issue because I feel like there's somebody who's not going to ask for help. The Ten of Swords represents a disappointing ending, but one that was beneficial for you in the long run. I feel like it's speaking to the catalyst for this situation that caused all this hard work. Some sort of a disappointment that somebody had to sort of maybe even rebuild their lives from. Or just wanted a change and wanted something different. It triggered a need for a change. I have the Five of Pentacles, which represents going through a rough time financially. And maybe what this is what this person is working towards. They're trying to work to a better financial situation and earn more money. The Four of Swords represents taking time out for self-care. And the Eight of Wands represents swift change. I feel like it's speaking to this happy, happy, and this all that glitters. I feel like there's an opportunity coming, but for this person to take full advantage of it, they need to recharge their batteries. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be a crucial part in them even seeing this opportunity for really what it is as well. I do have the lover's card here. This might be where this leg up is coming from. This might be somebody in your life, maybe in a romantic relationship as well. So I'm going to give you a chance to rest and relax. Maybe they look after all the housework. Maybe it's something just as simple as that. Are you just taking a day to do nothing? I also have the world card. This world card represents positive things manifesting for you in your life. But these are not ones that show up on the blue. These are ones that you have to earn. And I feel like this is the happy, happy. This is all that glitters. This is what this person has been working so hard towards for such a long time. And this reward is finally coming from the universe. I have the four of pentacles, which speaks of penny pinching. I feel like it ties into the five of pentacles and going through a rough time financially and trying to sort of build up to something new. I have the seven of cups, which represents having many options, weighing your options carefully. It speaks of choice. I feel like it's tying in to recognize, recognizing this option when it comes your way, recognizing uh, this all that glitters, this happy, happy, this opportunity, being able to see it. You need to rest, take, make the choice now to rest, relax, recharge your batteries so that you are poised and ready for this new opportunity. The Ten of Cups represents abundance in the home life. This is what you've been working towards. This is what the card represents, that goal. You are about to be able to attain that. And I have the Queen of Swords. So she definitely represents uh, that truth and honesty. She can also speak to somebody who doesn't express their emotions. And that's why I feel like this person won't ask for help. They just sort of maybe put on a false a false mask and pretend like everything's okay and they're not totally exhausted, but they are. So uh, whoever this is is going to be a leg, giving them a leg up. I might need to force the issue that, no, you need to go rest. You need to relax. Let me take care of this. 
I will do this part of things. You just go take some time for yourself. I feel like that's what the cards are definitely saying because this beautiful, wonderful change that they've been working towards, this Ten of Cups, this All That Glitters, the Happy Happy, it is coming. So this person needs to be poised and ready to grab it when it does. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I love hearing from you guys. And remember, if you would like to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you gotta do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name in the pot. Remember, we draw a new name every Friday, guys, and then start fresh for the next week. Alrighty, take care.